This is In the Spotlight. It's about people on this planet that has captured the attention of vloggers like me. Listen and learn more about your concerns on In the Spotlight. We are a little more than 12 hours away from President Trump and North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un meeting for the first time. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said this morning that complete denuclearization is the only outcome the U.S. will accept. Kim and the president are both in Singapore ahead of the high-stakes meeting. Now, this is the first time that a sitting U.S. president will meet with a leader of North Korea. The summit will take place at the Capella Hotel on Sentosa Island, a high-end resort. CBS Evening News anchor Jeff Gore is leading our coverage from Singapore. Jeff, good morning. Nora, good morning to you on the eve of this summit. An extraordinary moment for this city-state here in Singapore, an extraordinary moment in the diplomatic histories of both of these countries. After months last year of lobbing insults and threats at each other from nearly 7,000 miles away, President Trump and Kim Jong-un are staying at hotels less than half a mile apart. Both leaders say they hope for peace and normalized relations between these two nations. Major Garrett is here with us now on the Trump administration's plans for the summit. Major, you just left a, a briefing with the Secretary of State. Yeah, we'll get to that in a minute, Jeff. Good morning, everyone. The summit will begin, as we might all expect, with a handshake. Talk about a photo op. And then possibly as many as two hours of direct conversations. President Trump, Kim Jong-un, only their translators present. Now, just a little while ago, the Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, said the United States will maintain economic pressure on the North until it takes verified steps to dismantle its nuclear arsenal. But Pompeo also said the U.S. is prepared to offer the North something brand new. As cameras frantically and noisily captured this relatively mundane moment, Thank you very much. President Trump stood with his Singapore host, Prime Minister Lee Sin Long, and sounded upbeat about the coming main event, the historic summit with North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un. After the working lunch, Mr. Trump was presented with a birthday cake in advance of his 72nd birthday on Thursday. Every meeting and movement, no matter how small, was fodder for more than 3,000 journalists. This is truly a mission of peace. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, the president's point man, spent part of the day with North Korean officials, laying the groundwork for direct talks between the president and Kim. Pompeo said the U.S. was prepared to offer new security guarantees to the North, but offered no specifics. Under the umbrella of security assurances, would that include removing U.S. forces now in South Korea? We are prepared to take what will be uh, security assurances that are different, unique, than have been provided, that America has been willing to provide previously. We think this is both necessary and appropriate. Before leaving the G7 economic meeting for Singapore, the president was asked how quickly he would know if Kim was serious about the summit's principal goal, denuclearization. I, I think within the first minute, I'll know. How? I just, my touch, my feel, that's what, that's what I do. Do Yon Kim of the Korean Peninsula Future Forum call that approach risky and dangerous? Kim Jong-un is going to play the long game, and so Trump really has his work cut out for him. Uh, he cannot determine the fate of North Korea, the fate of the Korean Peninsula, in just one minute. 